In the mid-60s, a unique partnership was formed in the world of motor racing. Keith Duckworth, co-founder of the then little-known Cosworth Engineering, joined with Ford in a development that was to change the face of Formula One Grand Prix racing for years. The project, a new pilot, designed to challenge and ultimately destined to dominate this pinnacle of the sport. From the moment it first appeared, the Ford Cosworth V8 engine served notice of its potential. It won its first Grand Prix in the middle of 1967, and then powered Graham Hill and Lotus to the World Drivers and Manufacturers Championships the following year. In the next 16 years, 155 Grand Prix were won by cars using this engine. But the name Ford Cosworth is not merely synonymous with Formula One. The power unit that has turned the Sierra into a formidable force on the racetracks of Europe and on the international rally scene is another product of this partnership. And this same engine fitted to the road-going Sierra Cosworth 4x4 now offers any motorist the chance to own a car with a proven competition record for use in their everyday motoring. This long association between Ford and Cosworth has led to the British-based firm establishing themselves as leaders in the field of engine development. And it's an association that is by no means over. For the past three years, they've been working together again on yet another high-performance road engine, this time for Ford Scorpio. Developing a robust 195 brake horsepower, this new power unit is a 24-valve, 2.9-litre V6 that combines silky smooth power with docility and economy. As with all Ford Cosworth developments, the detailed design of this new V6 is both innovative and advanced. The engine block, while based on Ford's current V6 unit, has been substantially reinforced near the main bearings. The crankshaft is new, being both strong to cope with the power of the engine and having had particular attention paid to the centre counterweight to ensure refined smoothness. New graphite-coated pistons have been designed with four bowls in the piston crowns and short piston pins. There's the familiar high-performance oil pump, but with its drive fitted where the distributor normally sits on the conventional V6. The aluminium cylinder heads are completely new. They're based on established four-valve technology, each accommodating two camshafts and 12 valves with their associated springs and hydraulic valve tappets. The camshafts are driven by a 2.2-metre-long endless duplex chain that locates on double sprocket wheels on each camshaft. There's a new fuel distribution rail serving the fuel injectors on what is a banked multipoint injection system. The sophisticated design of the air plenum chamber not only provides for a precise distribution of air to the engine, it also fully complements the overall appearance of this new V6 unit. Engine management is handled by a new extended capacity EEC-4 module and this new Ford Cosworth V6 is fitted with a distributorless ignition system known as E-DIS-6, identical in its operation to the established E-DIS-4. All in all, a most exciting power unit that adds a new dimension to Scorpio and to reap maximally notable changes in other areas of the car. The proven A4LD automatic transmission has been modified to handle the increased engine power. Inside the car, this smooth-running V6 is quietened further by the addition of new oh, low-noise-level sound packs. Suspension has been considerably changed with uprated springs and shock absorbers and substantial new anti-roll bars at front and rear. The result is sure-footed road holding of the highest class. This is complemented by an uprated braking system and there's a highly effective limited slip differential to help control the transmission of power to the road so ensuring this new Ford Cosworth engine can be used to best effect. Innovative and highly advanced, 
this new Scorpio Cosworth successfully combines a wealth of racing technology in a package that is ideally suited to the motoring needs of today. Even its service requirement demands nothing beyond the scope of a Ford train mechanic with just three new special tools to be used during any necessary repair work. It could be said, the Ford Cosworth story continues.